Hey everyone, Riley here from becominganelectrician.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about what are you actually allowed to drill through as an electrician, okay? We even got a little wasp nest happening up there. Okay, so when you are drilling holes as an electrician, it's really, really important that you understand what is load bearing and what is not load bearing, okay? Load bearing is something that like this, this here is a post, this is load bearing, you would not wanna drill through that. Right here, this is what we call a beam, okay? You do not wanna drill through that. These are your joists, okay? You are allowed to drill through these. You have your top plate, right? Your top plate is right here. You are allowed to drill through that. Here is your normal studs. You are allowed to drill through that, okay? So in this video, I just wanna quickly walk you through what you are and what you're not allowed to uh, drill through. And the biggest thing that I wanna tell you here is when it comes to if you're unsure to drill through something, you always ask the engineer. And just because you're allowed to drill through something on one job site with one engineer, doesn't mean that you're gonna be allowed to do that on the next job site. So you always have to ask the engineer because when it comes to drilling through beams, you actually are allowed to drill through them, again, if the engineer is allowing you, and you have to follow a certain way to drill through the beam. And then again, this is like a post. So this is something that you would not wanna be drilling through because it is um, load bearing to the home. Whereas something like this is just a stud and it's just meant to um, separate walls in the home so that you, know, you, you can have a bedroom, you can have a kitchen, but they're really not load bearing. They add maybe some structure to the home a little bit, but this right here is what is supporting, in this case, this is a deck. So this would be supporting the deck as well as here. This is the beam, okay? All right, so let's uh, talk a little bit more about that. So this right here is a laminated beam. As you can see, these are just a bunch of different uh, layers of wood all glued together. They are engineered and they are very, very strong. We are not allowed to drill through this unless you talk to an engineer. That's my highest recommendation to you if you want to drill through it, because let's say there's no other way, make sure that you're reaching out to an engineer, okay? Here is an example of an eye joist. These are engineered to be straight and very strong, and we can drill through in the middle, but we're not allowed to drill through up here. Same in here. Here is an example of another eye joist, just for you to see quickly. Uh, same here. This right here is actually a beam. But you can see this is one beam, this is another beam, it's another beam, another beam. So again, you can clearly see these are beams. This down here are eye joists. This is a type of beam. Now, when it comes to these beams, you will be seeing them in different colors. Some of them are kind of orange or yellow. There's this one as well. You do not want to be drilling through that. Uh, same here, again, a beam. And again, if we look here just on the side, you can see how... Um, it's actually just a bunch of layers of wood all glued together, okay? Same down here, we look at this one down there. So again, these are just a bunch of layers all glued together for a very, very strong beam for supporting load in the home or in a building, okay? Again, this is kind of like that yellow I'm talking about. You do not want to be drilling through this. Again, if you are, you want to get permission before you attempt anything like that, because it could be a very costly mistake. Here's an example of a huge beam, all right? Like this thing's massive. This is also a pretty big beam as well. And same here. And uh, again, uh, yeah, these are just kind of like the flat ones. I just wanted to show you the yellow. I was just on a bike ride actually today and there's lots of construction going on. So I took some pictures and I wanted to make a video on this because as an electrician, it's all about knowing where you're allowed to drill through, what you're allowed to drill through. So all of these are beams, beam, 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 beam. This is a beam up here as well. You want to be very careful when it comes to these things. Again, as an electrician, it's just better just to avoid them and run your wire through a safer way, okay? All right, so now that I just shared pictures with you about examples of beams and posts and stuff like that, now uh, I just wanna bring you under the stairs here because this is a great area where there are a lot of dangers of things that you should not be drilling through as an electrician. If you are in an area where there's a lot of beams, a lot of posts. Sometimes it's best just to run your wire somewhere else. Just avoid the area because then you don't have to make any phone calls and you can get the job done even if you have to use a little bit more wire, okay? But as you can see right here, so we have our stairs. 
um, you know, they're being supported right here. So we're never going to be drilling through here because this is the support for the stairs. Okay. We're never drilling through stairs. You can see up here, this is an older school kind of beam. Nowadays, they are more of the struck, um, engineered kind of laminated beams. Like I was sharing in the pictures there, uh, right here, this is just a normal two by four, which we are allowed to drill through, which you can see right here, the electrician has ran their wires and they put it right into the box. Again, I just want to repeat, uh, do not listen to any of my advice when it comes to drilling holes in your own home or on the job site. Always be asking a building inspector or your engineer about what you're allowed to drill through. So uh, that's it for this video. If you guys want to check out some of my favorite tools for apprentice electricians, I'll leave that link in the description and uh, let me know if you guys want to see a different video on a different topic. I'll talk to you in the next one.